welcome you all to innovative amazing science with Sunaina. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. I am super excited to do this activity and in fact to share this activity. Can you see I'm holding a potato and when you are seeing this potato what do you feel? Is it a root, a stem or a fruit? Well, that is a stem vegetable and to be more precise, it is an underground stem. What is this underground stem? That is something which is found under the ground. But when we usually learn the plants chapter when we are child, we have always seen the stem is found above the ground and the roots are found below the ground. But what is this underground stem? Is the stem found below the ground? Yes, the stem is found below the ground. That is why we say it as underground stem. First, let us understand the definition of underground stem. Underground stems are modified plants that derive from the stem tissue but exist under the soil surface. They function as storage tissues for the food and nutrients, propagation of new clones and perination. And there are about five types of underground stem. One is your bulb, next is your comb, then you have the stolon, then you have the rhizome, and of course, the last one is your tuber. We are going to study about potatoes. And potato is a tuber which is formed from the thickened rhizome or stolon. The top sides of the tuber produce the shoots that grow into typical stems and leaves. And the underside produce the roots. Tuber has all the parts of a normal stem including the nodes and the internodes. Nodes are the eyes and each has a leaf scar. If you observe this potato carefully, you can see that it has got the eyes and each is having a leaf scar on top of that. Okay? So, what is the purpose of this tuber? There are mainly two purposes. The first one is saving food and the second one is reproduction. So potatoes are artificially produced by tuber pieces called the seed pieces. A tuber is cut into pieces each with one or more eyes. These pieces are planted and each produces a new plant from one of its eyes. Sometimes instead of cutting the tuber into pieces, we can simply take the whole tuber and plant it as the whole tuber can also give rise to a new plant provided it has eyes on it. So now let us understand reproduction. We all know that reproduction takes place by two categories. One is the sexual and another is the asexual. So in this potato uh, growth, we are going to see the asexual method of reproduction. That is the vegetative propagation. And the activity which we are going to do today is to see the vegetative propagation or the asexual mode of reproduction in potatoes. Before we start with the activity and before we start doing this vegetative propagation method, we should have a question that why are we choosing this vegetative propagation method? Let us just understand. So the part of the plant that helps in reproduction is called the reproductive organ. That is the flower. But apart from the flower, the rest part, that is the root, the stems and the leaves are called the vegetative parts. And propagation means 
to increase in number. When plants choose these vegetative parts for growing a new plants, we call them as vegetative propagation. So the things required are, I've taken this uh, container which was lying waste. Actually I had purchased some fruits and this is the leftover container. You can use any container for that matter or if you are having, what do you say, like pot also, you can use empty pots for that. Then I've taken two potatoes, you can use one, two, whatever is your choice. I'm just using two potatoes and some water and soil of course, okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'll fill my container with some soil. So let's do that. Uh, I know it's a bit messy, but then you can just uh, pour it. Okay, here we go. So I fill this. Actually, you require more soil, but then it's okay, fine. We are going to put our potatoes, and then cover it with more soil. And we are going to keep this and observe it after about four to five days let's see okay i'm almost done so We'll keep this for about four or five days or maybe six or seven days. Let's see when is my potato going to sprout. We'll just keep it aside for some days and we have to water it and keep it in a place where you get enough of sunlight and all. So we'll just wait for some days. So almost five to six days are over and I'll just show you. Can you see the sprouts of the potatoes? Wow, that's so superb. I'll just try to show you. Let me not disturb this potatoes. Otherwise, it will be difficult. Can you see? I'll just move it a little. Okay, I'll show you. This is that sprout here. Here you can see the sprouts. And here if you observe closely, you can see the sprouts of the potato, which has already come out. Okay. So let me not disturb much. I'm going to keep this again in the same place. Okay. Without disturbing. And I'm going to water them as usual. And let us see the change. It might take 4 days, 5 days. We don't know. According to the favorable conditions. Which will be available. So it is going to grow. So let us just wait for some more days. And see how the plant is growing. So I'm back again and almost it is four to five days I guess and can you see how the plant has grown and take a keen look at this. You can see the roots. If you observe you can see the roots. Let me not disturb much. I've added extra soil to this so that it grows well because it requires more soil and of course it requires a uh, good sunlight and water so i've added you can see if if i just move it around a little bit you can see the roots properly i guess is it visible you can see the roots how the roots are visible okay i, I just not disturb much okay so you can see how the potato along with the roots is developing okay observe it carefully see how the roots are growing okay 
and how this plant has started to grow I will not disturb much I will just try to just push this soil a bit and leave it for some more days let's observe what is going to happen and we are going to water it also so let's wait for some more days so now we have almost reached uh, approximately 18 to 20 days and can you see how tall this potato plants have grown and uh, in the starting we had just placed two potatoes in the soil and can you see how it is growing and the growth is bushy also and then this is what I wanted to show you how from a root tuber how the potato uh, what do you say like the sprouts came and then from that sprouts how the leaves came and finally the plant is all ready so if you are keeping it more time you're going to get more potatoes out of this two potatoes yes so if you uh, just try to see a close view then you can see the roots also nicely you can see the roots and it looks so good actually now I guess I can say I've become a good farmer and even you can try that to be a good farmer yes uh, just see it carefully I'll just show you just see it carefully you can see the roots and all okay you can see the roots and how lovely it is looking one thing what you have to do you have to make sure once the plants are growing and once when you water it on a daily basis what happens the soil comes down and the potato is visible so what you have to do is you have to uh, try and see that you have to put extra soil and cover and make it a sort of heap sort of thing okay so you have to just put extra soil and keep watering it and you have to keep the plants where you get enough of sunlight I hope you would have enjoyed this and you can start growing your potatoes at home when potato growers talk about the seeds they are talking about the tuber and not the botanical or the sexual seeds. Potato tubers are actually a modified stem with approximately 70 to 75 percentage of water content and a remaining of 25 to 30 percent of dry matter. They have got nodes or eyes from which the new growth begins. The new stems growing from each eye are called sprouts. Sprouts grow from the tuber after a period of dormancy. After they are harvested, this varies largely between the cultivars. After this dormancy is broken, sprouts grow and when planted, they give rise to the plant stems and from there all the vegetative part of the plant that is the underground or the lateral shoots called the stolons are formed from which the new tubers will be formed so finally we observed how we can grow potatoes at home it is not always the seeds from which the plant grows so I hope you would have just loved this experiment or the activity. If you enjoyed this experiment, do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you wish to share your experience with me, do put it in the comment section or to write a mail so that I can share your experience through an experiment in my upcoming videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.